No! Eraser. Defensive position. No! Elena, get out of here! I need you to take the wheel. You're my brother. Yo, Scourge! The movie begins on the planet of the Maximals, where the villainous Transformer deity Unicron is getting ready to descend and consume the planet for his own power. Unicron dispatches his minions, known as the Terracons, led by Scourge, to retrieve the Transwarp key for him. This key would grant Unicron the ability to access unlimited worlds for his consumption. The Maximals, including Apelink, Primal, Arazor, Rhinox, and Cheetor, are preparing to leave the planet. However, Apelink chooses to stay behind and fight, while also dubbing Primal as Optimus Primal. Scourge, a skilled hunter, arrives and engages in a battle with Apelink and his freezer drones. Although Apelink destroys the freezers, Scourge manages to inflict a mortal wound on him but realizes too late that the Maximals have already escaped with the key. Subsequently, Unicron proceeds to devour the planet. In Brooklyn, 1994, Noah Diaz, a former soldier and electronic specialist, lives with his mother Brianna and younger brother Chris. Chris has a medical condition, and the family is struggling to gather enough money to afford his medication. When Noah goes to the hospital to seek medical care for his brother, he is informed by the corporate manager that the scheduled interview has been cancelled. The manager consulted with Noah's former commanding officer, who stated that Noah is brave but unable to work effectively in a team. In turn Elena Wallace works alongside the snobbish gallery owner, Jillian. Detectives are present at the scene due to the arrest of an art director who may have been involved in counterfeiting currency. Jillian asks Elena to confirm the authenticity of certain artworks, but she takes credit for the information herself. Meanwhile, Elena stumbles upon a figurine that bears a resemblance to Arazor and is engraved with the Transformers logo. As Elena continues her examination, Jillian mistakenly believes it to be an ancient Sumerian artifact. In order to sell the Porsche, Noah goes to his friend Reek, who persuades him to take it from another business's garage. Noah successfully enters covertly, locates the Porsche, and gets inside. Elena uses a gadget to probe the figurine further at the same time, but she accidentally breaks it and finds a piece of the transwarp key inside. Consequently, a signal is sent out, awakening the Autobots. Optimus Prime then summons Bumblebee, RC, and Mirage, the latter being the vehicle Noah is in. Noah is apprehended by a security officer, causing Mirage to start driving away. After a pursuit around the city, Noah discovers that the car is actually driving itself. To escape with Noah, Mirage employs his superhuman abilities to project illusions of himself onto the approaching police officers. Noah is filled with terror as Mirage transforms into his Autobot form and transports him to a facility. The presence of a human among them displeases Optimus and RC, but Bumblebee is more accepting, and Mirage trusts that Noah is trustworthy. To return to Cybertron, Optimus reveals that the key has emitted a signal, and they need to track it down. As they approach the art gallery to retrieve the key, Noah joins Mirage, but Scourge, along with his Terracon companions Battletrap and Nightbird, has already arrived on Earth and is also in pursuit of the key. Elena is alarmed when Noah enters the museum because she believes he is an intruder. With some resistance, Elena finally accepts Noah's explanation that he needs the key when Scourge blows a hole in the wall and murders a security guard. The Autobots arrive to fight as the Terracons attempt to assault. The deadly Terracon impales B and blasts him in the chest, killing him. Optimus can only watch in despair as he and Bumblebee attempt to pursue Scourge. Arazor flies in and chases Scourge and the others out, taking the other half of the key with him, stopping Scourge before he can take Optimus with him. 
When Scourge returns to Unicron and realizes that he only has half of the key, the deity severely punishes his followers. Arazor explains the scenario to the Autobots, and Elena deduces from the reading she looked up that the second half of the key must be in Peru. Before leaving, Noah pays a visit to Chris at home, but Mirage suddenly appears and reveals himself. Mirage assures Noah that he will protect his brother, and in turn, Noah confesses his goal to Chris. The group travels to Peru aboard Stratosphere, an Autobot who transforms into a dilapidated old aircraft. During the journey, Noah advises Elena to destroy the key as a means to prevent Unicron from appearing, even if it means the Autobots remain on Earth. Upon their arrival, they are greeted by Wheeljack, an Autobot who extends a warm welcome and guides them to their intended location. In order to ensure Noah's protection, Mirage equips him with a wrist gadget as a defensive measure. Searching for Transformers symbols, Noah and Elena descend into a cavern beneath the surface. Unfortunately, the Terracons have also arrived, and Scourge has sent additional freezers to track down Noah and Elena. Instead of finding the key, they come across an empty crypt with some inscriptions that Elena takes note of. Upon being discovered, they flee, with the Autobots pursuing them. While chasing after Scourge, Optimus vows to avenge Bumblebee, while the others engage in battles against Battletrap and Nightbird. As Arazor joins the fight, Scourge targets her with one of his weapons. The rest barely manage to escape, clinging to life. After exiting the tunnels, Noah and Elena find themselves in a forest where they encounter Primal and the other Maximals. When Arazor informs Primal about their comradeship, the Autobots arrive to protect the humans. Primal reveals to the others that the Maximals have moved the second key slightly off the path to ensure its safety. The Maximals guide everyone to a nearby village that they guard and have formed an alliance with the resident humans, who are responsible for safeguarding the other half of the key. Later, Primal demonstrates to Optimus the process of resurrecting B using raw energy, but it requires a significant amount of power. Elena draws a parallel between Noah and Optimus, highlighting their roles as protective older brothers for their families. She suggests to Noah that they should consider not destroying the key. The black energy that Scourge infected Arazor with has completely corrupted her as of this morning. She begins to attack before the other Maximals can attempt to subdue her. Primal tries to restrain her, but Arazor commands him to take whatever action is necessary, so he squeezes her until she collapses and dies. Noah also seizes the opportunity to use the wrist gadget to destroy the key, but Optimus pleads with him not to, until Noah finally gives in. Unfortunately, this gives Scourge a chance to steal the key and return to Unicron. To summon Unicron, Scourge and the Terracons join the two pieces of the key and construct a platform over a volcano. The Autobots and Maximals unite to finally defeat the villains, as Optimus and Noah realize that their actions have only worsened the situation. Elena devises a code to deactivate the key based on the markings she discovered. The heroes then prepare for battle, with Primal commanding Rhinox and Cheetor to transform into their robot forms to confront the advancing Scorponok army. Mirage assists Noah and Elena in finding a way to reach the platform so they can input the code. Primal utilizes his own wrecking ball to strike Battletrap in the head, while Optimus and Primal work together to dismantle Battletrap into pieces. As Unicron draws nearer to Earth, his presence is felt in other cities, including Old New York. Scourge ambushes Noah as he approaches, but Mirage sacrifices himself by shielding Noah with his own body. However, when Mirage hears Chris speaking to him through his radio, he transfers a part of his body to the wrist gadget, enabling Noah to construct a combat suit. Furthermore, the energy waves emitted by the key revitalize Bumblebee, who joins the battle and helps turn the tide. He takes flight alongside Nightbird and defeats her. While engaged in combat with Scourge, Optimus is on the verge of victory until Scourge destroys the computer being used by Elena to input the key, rendering it useless.
Despite severing Scourge's head and dismembering him, Optimus decides to personally destroy the key to prevent Unicron's advance. During the ensuing explosion caused by the key's destruction, Optimus is nearly consumed by the Vortex, but Primal and Noah manage to save him by pulling him back. The Autobots and Maximals celebrate their victory but choose to part ways, aware that the threat of Unicron may still linger. Noah returns home to Chris and their mother aboard the Stratosphere with Elena. In the future, Noah finds himself attending a job interview for a different position. Despite his attempts to conceal it, Agent Burke recognizes that Noah has been in Peru and has been collaborating with the Autobots. Burke presents Noah with the opportunity to join a covert government agency, offering to cover Chris's medical expenses. Noah is elated and observes as Burke enters a chamber housing advanced automobiles, technology, and classified items. Glancing at Burke's business card, Noah discovers that the organization is called G.I. Joe. Reek works on repairing Mirage while Noah remains present during the credits. Initially, Reek believes his efforts to be in vain, considering the repair to be meaningless. However, Noah commands Mirage to activate, and at that very moment, the Autobot gleefully comes back to life. 